So just to let you know, this is a recorded webinar session. This is part of our EdTech Bytes, where we do really quick in about 15 to 20 minutes. So I didn't really make a slide deck for this. What I created was sort of an outline. So I'm gonna share this outline to you in the chat of the Google Meet, and then that's for attendees. And then for people who watch it on YouTube later, I'll go ahead and add this link here into the description of the YouTube box. I ended up going through, I'd say probably about six or seven different AI generators to figure out which one was honestly the quickest one for making an entire unit in some elements of a unit using AI. I did ChatGPT, I did Google Gemini, I did Diffit, I did Brisk, which also worked pretty good. I did Eduade and I did Magic School. I think my favorite one was using Magic School. And so I'm gonna walk you through what Magic School AI has in it. First thing we're gonna talk about, because even though Magic School AI has all these really cool prompt generators and they're gonna help you write out those prompts, there's still some elements you wanna to add to it. So a good prompt has, and I should probably zoom into this. So a good prompt has what you wanna accomplish, your role, so you're saying I'm like a fifth grade teacher, a sixth grade teacher, your audience and what you want for your students, and then add those important details of specifics you want, and then don't be afraid to add parameters of what you don't want. And now I'm talking about how I kinda of cheated with AI to make what parts of a unit I wanted. So I wanted standards, I want objectives, I want some ideas for activities, I want assessments, I want differentiation ideas, I wanted to use technology, and I wanted a reflection. Now, here is what I found, desperately making a ton of unit plans with AI. Don't give them a mass amount of standards to use, because it will just keep going and going and going and going. So what I mean by that is don't put like, I want an earth and space sciences lesson. Put something like, I want an earth and space sciences lesson that focuses on layers of the earth or that focuses on climate or that focuses on like narrow it down a little bit or it's gonna get really huge, okay? So now let's dip into it and I'm going to show you the unit plan taking a lesson plan from the unit plan, making a presentation from the lesson plan, and then creating an assessment from the presentation. So it's kind of cool that it like builds off of each other. So I'm gonna get into Magic School. APS has Magic School. The issue with Magic School is we do not have, we don't have Magic students, we have Magic School. So just make sure that you realize it's Magic School, we're on the teacher end, not on the student end. Okay, now Magic School basically has all of these really fun prompts built in that you can use to create different things in your classroom. We're gonna start with the unit plan generator. Um, I'm going to put a grade level, ninth grade. This is where I said to use this outline. The first part is I'm gonna copy and paste all of these things. So I'm gonna go in here and standards, I'm going to say, aligns with NGSS science standards for earth and space. Let's do solar systems. I didn't do this one, so I'm gonna try it. Okay, so objectives, I'm gonna wanna have clear objectives. I want students to know about all the different planets. I would say where it says context down here, I would actually take this part here that says content and put that down in here to this part. So I want key content and engaging resources. You're not putting in the details, you're just telling it what you want. I want interactive learning experiences. I want some, I think for this one, I want more summative assessment ideas, differentiation acceleration. I want su support for diverse learners. I want time. Another thing sometimes I'll add is I want ideas for English language learners. Now, from this point on, whatever this builds out is what we're gonna use to build out other things. So this one takes a little bit longer than the other things. Ninth grade, New Mexico and National Science Standards 
earth and space and solar system. Now, once you kind of have an outline of a prompt, you can generate it. What I like about Magic School AI is it does understand to pull a teacher perspective. So it has that prompt filter built in. It now has objectives. They're gonna um, identify major components of the solar system. It's gonna have activities. It's gonna have an exit ticket to write down three things they learned about the solar system. It's gonna have inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. It's gonna have all of these different things for different days. Okay, so I gave it a five day unit plan, but you guys can give it more. It's gonna have that synthesized information. It's gonna have culminating activities, standards we covered. And what's nice is you can keep adding more to it. So if I said include more ELL strategies, it will, and it'll incorporate that and bring in more information here. So it'll keep pulling it. And once you find one that you like, and it has everything that you wanna have on it, I'm gonna go back up to that first one. Here on the very bottom, you can edit different parts of it before you export it, but then you can go to export and you can export it to Docs or to Word. So I like to export it out to Google Docs. You can do the full thread of all of those different answers, but since I have the selected resource, that means that's the one that I had all the edits to and I kept going down, this is the one that I wanna keep. So then when I export it out to Google Docs, and this is the part that might take a little while. It should open it up in a new tab, and then now you're going to have your unit plan. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we keep this unit plan, number one. The other thing that I have learned over time is we're going to want to name this unit plan. And for sure, if you keep building off of each other, I'm going to want to say unit plan for solar systems over here. Okay, now after I've created a unit plan, I wanna create a lesson plan off of that unit plan. Okay, so I'm gonna go here to day one. I don't wanna do an introduction because those ones don't show up as many cool things. But day two, we're gonna learn about the inner planets. It's kind of short. I'm gonna go back in Magic School AI. That's this button here. And now there are all of these other things you can build. So before I had done the unit generator, and now I'm gonna do lesson plan. So now I'm gonna open up this lesson plan one, ninth grade, again, dive into it first and say, um, I want a lesson plan with vocabulary, materials, a uh, group work based off of day two in this unit plan. I am attaching solar system inner planets okay so now i'm going to attach it so now because i built that unit plan i'm going to add it here here i'm going to put this in here and i don't even know if it'll do it um add kagan strategies never tried that before um i can't remember what standards i had before but i could have copied and pasted but let's generate a lesson plan and see if it pulled pretty good from the inner planets of the solar system. Now it's going to give me a more in-depth idea for an assessment. It's going to have, okay, it's going to have key points for those inner planets. It's going to have an opening activity, materials, guided practice, independent practice, a closing, so a brief two to three minute presentation for the students to do. Um, they can create an infographic using Canva or Google Slides. There's homework, there's standards. Ooh, it did. Think, pair, share, and a jigsaw from Kagan. Should have included for my own ends. I should have said even like more e um, ELL strategies. I probably could have said, what are ways to differentiate this plan, right? So I'm gonna export this out to Google Docs again. It's gonna open it up. You can keep adding to that prompt all you want. I find it's better if I try and brainstorm before I make the prompt, but it's not too bad. Like I would have added key vocabulary words. I forgot to add that, but that's okay. I'm going to name this lesson plan slash, so then I know that's my lesson plan up there. And now I have all of this built out, okay? Now, based on the inner planets and what's happened here, I'm gonna go back to Magic School AI, go back. This is a hot new tool. It's so hot, it's not working super great. But I know AI is always improving and that's okay. There is now a presentation generator. So went back, still in Magic School, 
still got the prompts. I'm going to go to presentation generator. Ninth grade topic, standard content, or objective. I want a presentation for my students that will share with them facts and information about each of the inner planets. I want to transition from whole group to small group work um basis lesson off of, or this not lesson this presentation off of this lesson plan okay so now i'm going to attach from my google drive and that's why i like to label it lesson plan lesson plan on the inner planets so i'm building off of all of the stuff it already made for me so that's kind of fun um, additional criteria, I probably would have said, like, I want some interactive discussion questions. I might want to include ELL strategies, but you can add additional criteria. That's those, like, little nuanced things to add. Now, what it's going to do, and it's kind of interesting, is it creates it as a slide outline. So it's going to say slide one exploring the planets, a journey through the solar system. Slide two is going to have, let's see introduction to the planet slide three is going to talk about mercury and venus and the differences between the two and it gave me a strategy slide four slide five okay now you can export this out and export it to google slides now the issue with this it doesn't come out pretty it doesn't have visuals it doesn't really have it's just going to put the content there which isn't super bad because you can add a theme to it it did export it out to google slides but you can go here and you can change the theme let's make it kind of dark because it's exploring the inner planets and it'll redo it to look a little bit better but you would have to add in those like images and different things like that which isn't super hard because i can go to insert image and just search right from the web and then i can just throw in a picture of mercury in there and then i'm like oh look at that okay that's how you can create the slide presentation now the next steps kind of depend on you you might want to have some in-between things. Some of my favorite ones are is if you want to add some SEL components, there's an SEL lesson plan. You could have inserted the presentation as an attachment to create a worksheet that the students need to fill out. Some other ideas are group work. They have a group work generator. Uh, some other cool ideas are it also has UDL strategies. Um, if you wanted them to build a project, a uh, PBL thing where they have to build out all of the different planets and stuff, and then within that PBL, you can do the same thing and create a rubric. Now, the thing I wanted to finish with really quick is I want to create an assessment. I want to create a multiple choice quiz. I'm going to open the, up this guy. I'm still here. Um, let's say I want it to be 10 questions. I want a Google Forms quiz that is based on the inner planets using the information from this lesson plan. You know what? I'm not going to do the lesson plan. I'm going to do this presentation. So that way it matches the presentation. Let's see what it does. I normally do the lesson plan, so I'm just going rogue here. It's going to be great. Got my presentation. And now I'm going to go down and I'm going to generate it. The way that it formats this is it's going to have a question then it's going to have different options. And what it does is it's going to give you the answer key on the bottom. But what I love about Magic School AI is now I can export it right out to Google Forms right here. And then when it goes out to Google Forms, it's going to create the Google Form as a quiz. If you notice here, it has the question options. And then when I click on it, when I go to answer key, it already has the answer key built into it. So I didn't necessarily like go super in depth to create an entire unit, but I did want to show that in 15 minutes, I managed to create a unit plan. We created a lesson plan. We created a presentation and formatted it. We created an assessment and it's all built here within Magic School. APS does not support technically Magic School, which, but it is one of the tools that you are allowed to get in with your Google account. It is free for teachers unless you want to add plus. Um, it has its own built-in chatbot. So there's a ton of them on here, but I have my favorites. 
And so I keep those up here starred. And then there's so many other ones that are recommended. Level generator, text proofreader. Um, go ahead and get into Magic School and give it a try. Um, some people don't know that on Magic School, you can basically stack all of those things it creates into one another to create that final product. We have more details that on January 25th and the 8th, we have some sessions on Saturday that are paid for PD opportunities. Check out our Techtivities website, um, which is going to be, and I'll put this in our chat and I'll link it in our YouTube video. But there are some templates and resources for you for our 12 days of EdTech. We have a art contest. We have circuit card kits that we're giving away. And then we also have kits of prizes where students can do a digital escape room. So share that out. Let us know if that's a cool thing.